I see you're a smart guy that owns a Sangyo Muso preface lip. There is one thing that you would like to have from the ugly one, the new one with the ugly grill. Well, I'm gonna show you how to go from this to this. There you go. And it only takes five minutes. Then if you take into account the paint drying. Show you. We are going to need a few tools that I'm gonna list now. First of all is a drill, the always important vacuum cleaner to get all the little bits of metal from the car, a Phillips screwdriver, automatic center punch, stepper drill bit, the reef nut tool, my favorite tool, a little paintbrush, the bolts, mushroom heads, and the reef nuts, M6. First thing to do is just pull away this seal, and that way you can access the A-pillar trim and pull it aside. The A-pillar trim is held by this little orange clip. Just poke it and it will pop out. Once you have done that, put the old A-pillar trim aside and get the new one, put it in position. We need to do that in order to mark the new holes for the reef nuts. With the automatic center punch, just make two little marks, make sure that they are in the center of the holes of the A-pillar trim. Now that we have the mark, just pull away the A-pillar trim. And if you wish, just use the automatic center punch again, just to make the make sure that the that the dent is quite big, so your drill bit doesn't slip away. I like to cover the plastic bits of the car with a towel. I do this because when you drill, all these little metal shavings come out really, really hot and make punch a hole through your plastics. Now with the stepper drill bit, just drill away. Make sure that you wear your safety glasses and be careful because, yeah, like I said, the, the shavings are really hot and they may burn you if they fall on you. Check for the sizes. These M6 uh, reef nuts are uh, about 10 mil hole with the with the stepper drill bit. Drill away slowly because these stepper drill bits tend to be really sharp. Now with the vacuum cleaner, just make sure that you pick up as many little shavings of metal as possible. Ideally, if you have someone with you, just get them to hold the vacuum cleaner close to the tip of the drill bit when you are, when you are drilling, but if not, you know, you have to clean afterwards. Now carefully apply the enamel around all the edges of the new holes. You want to cover them well to prevent rust. Try to be tidy too, because even though these uh, holes are gonna be covered with the A-pillar trims. You wanna try to keep some pride in your workmanship.
Oh, now my favorite part. We're gonna use the Reef Nut tool, which uh, is one of my favorites. I bought this one secondhand at Cash Converters and it's honestly one of my favorite tools ever in my toolbox. We just attach the Reef Nut to the tip and make sure that we make it firm, put it in the hole and with the drill, just drill away. Put it in, um, in the screwdriver setting so you don't overdo it and bend the metal or twist your wrist. It's better to just do it step by step slowly than try to do it all in one go and end up with a broken wrist or a broken glass. After the reef nuts are attached to the body of the car, all we need to do is get the A-pillar trim, put back the little Christmas tree clip, put it in position and use the screws to attach it to the new reef nuts. Just cover the holes with the trim covers. They have a little cut out so they only go one way. And after that, all we need to do is reattach the seal and voila, job is done. And just like that, the only thing that you could possibly wish that you have from the new Muso is installed, which is a great addition because honestly, you know, it helps people that are short or people that have limited mobility to get in and out of your youth safely and quicker. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed this little tutorial. Uh, it's nothing to it, really. If you have the right tools, you can do it in five minutes. All right, talk later. Bye.